You should have received an email for Bergen, Essex, Hudson, or Union to access a spreadsheet to assist you with the math map skills. You'll notice in the email it showed that you would type http colon slash slash. You can simply skip that and type tinyurl.com. If you start from a search engine such as Google, do not type the tiny URL address here in the search box. Please go to the top of the screen, erase the website address from the top of the screen, and that's where you will type tinyurl.com slash RCAN math and then either Union, Essex, Hudson, or Bergen. When you press return, it's going to take you to a spreadsheet of a document, and the document is listed by county, then with the towns within the county alphabetical order, and finally the name of the school within those towns. If I was going to go work with St. Michael's School in Cranford, I'd move my mouse to St. Michael's School, and when I give a click, it's going to open up the spreadsheet. It's very important that you make sure that you're on the correct spreadsheet. You can look at the top of the screen. It should say the name of your town, Cranford Math Map Review Sheet. And if you look into row two, it should say the name of the school, St. Michael's School. So now I know I'm looking at the right spreadsheet. Once you see that, you know you're in the right space. The directions tell you to please type a 1, not an X or a check mark in the appropriate column to indicate during which trimester you use this corresponding skill. And there's always a sample in the first row. I can move my mouse down the screen to look at all the various skills. Now initially, these skills were in the first trimester curriculum map. But you may find that some of the items were done in a different trimester. Clicking in the box for the skill under trimester one, I'm going to type a one and press the enter or return key. I might have also compared numbers one through 10 in the first trimester, but I didn't actually compare sets of objects using greater than, less than, or equal to until the second trimester. So I'll put a one in that box under second trimester. And you'll continue down marking each choice by trimester until you complete all the skills. Next comes the skills for trimester two, and then skills for trimester three, and finally a box at the bottom that says comments. So if you'd like to share comments, you would just type in your words here. If you had two kindergarten teachers teaching these skills, the first kindergarten teacher would come in and fill out these skill numbers. The second teacher would come in, and if she taught a skill in the first trimester, but she is the second teacher who is doing this, and her students also wrote numbers 0 through 9 using correct formation, you would click your mouse in the cell where the number one was, type the number two instead, and press the enter or return key. You may also use the arrows on the keyboard. Now when I get to this skill, compare sets of objects using greater than, less than, and equal, if I am that second kindergarten teacher and I did teach that in trimester one, then I would put a one. So now one teacher did a trimester one, one teacher did a trimester two. Looking towards the bottom of the screen, we are looking at kindergarten skill statements. I know that because this tab kindergarten is clicked. If I was the second grade teacher, I would have to move my mouse to grade two and give a click on grade two before I was able to see the skill statements for the second grade. Likewise, if I was teaching pre-algebra, I'd need to click on the pre-algebra tab before it'll switch over and show me the skill set statements for pre-algebra. Another thing that's really important to notice is when you click and you type a number, 
up at the top of the screen, you'll see that it's going to, every now and again, write the word saving. We do not have to do anything special to save our work in these spreadsheets. You do need to be on the internet when you're typing into these spreadsheets. It is always connected to the internet. When you're finished, just move your mouse up to the X and close the window. Everything's saved and ready to go. And likewise, you can close this document whenever you're done with it.